No doubt one of the creepiest Pokemon in existence, Bayonet somehow feels sorely forgotten in recent memory. So what exactly made this Pokemon so unsettling? Join me as I tell you the tale of Bayonet. So, Bayonet, a pure ghost-type Pokemon introduced in Generation 3. This was meant to be a counterpart to Dusclops, even though their paths would later diverge. Bayonet is a creepy little living toy Pokemon that has exactly the appearance it needs to be unsettling. Sure, it still sorta of looks like a Pokemon, but things like the zipper mouth and drooping head tail give it the feeling of something not completely natural. Then, what is this thing? Well, surprise surprise, this little guy has its very own creepy Pokedex entry. A cursed energy permeated the stuffing of a discarded forgotten plush doll, giving it new life as a bayonet. The Pokemon's energy would escape if it were to ever open its mouth. Other Pokedex entries say roughly the same thing more or less, just adding variations on how it came to be and even the type of toy that it came from. Pokemon Emerald gives details about how they are said to live in garbage dumps and wander about in search of the children that threw them away. Absolutely terrifying, there's always been the spooky trope of something inanimate coming to life. Which gets even scarier when it actually tries to come after you. In the real world, Pokemon are extremely marketable and there's no shortage of plush toys that you can buy. Just imagine how many more there are in the actual world of Pokemon. A lot more material for breeding Bayonet. But speaking of breeding, that does bring up an interesting dilemma. There are a handful of Pokemon that are said to just pop into existence, and that becomes confusing, especially when they're the second stage of an evolution line. And so is the case with Bayonet, as it evolves from Shuppet. What's the deal here? Well, Shuppet is of course also a ghost-type Pokemon that has its own very creepy Pokedex entry. Shuppet grows by feeding on dark emotions, such as vengefulness and envy in the hearts of people. It roams through cities in search of grudges that taint people. Okay, there's a connection right there. They both have something to do with strong negative emotions. While tossing the idea around in my head, I thought of an explanation. As Shuppet are roaming about looking for their favorite emotional meal, perhaps they stumble upon a broken toy that was thrown out, which is just flowing with feelings of hatred. So Shuppet decides to fuse with the old toy, thus allowing it to evolve. Now comprised of immense ghostly energy, it lives the rest of its life, causing terror. A little clunky, but that's just about the best I've got. Like I mentioned with every other ghost Pokemon, the Pokedex entries are meant to be fun, scary stories that have no bearing on the gameplay in the video games. But I would say that's the most likely with something as out there as Bayonet's origin. Largely because Bayonet doesn't have a definitive inspiration aside from general horror tropes. I have seen some people say that Bayonet could be based off of a yokai as many other Pokemon are, particularly the Tsukumogami type, which are inanimate objects that come to life after having existed for 100 years. But these are stated to be harmless yokai, unlike Bayonet, which is clearly driven by revenge. And on top of that, the toy that Bayonet is said to have come from is likely much younger than 100 years. Though we can really see Bayonet go all out with its mega evolution, which just unleashes whatever weird energy it has. Apparently, it even has the highest physical attack of any ghost Pokemon. But because Megas later got Pokedex entries as well, we find out that its cursed energy is so immense that it can't help but curse its own trainer. Yet another dangerous Pokemon to simply own. Mega Bayonet was a favorite of mine that I played around with in Generation 6. Give any Pokemon the prankster ability and I'm bound to love it. Though it really does feel like this Pokemon became one of the more underappreciated ghost types. I mean, a Mega Evolution is cool and all, but a permanent evolution like its counterpart might have been the ideal route. Because look at just how much love Dustnor ended up getting. If I'm genuinely honest, I didn't have any cool stories or long-time appreciation for this Pokemon, in the same way that I do with many others that I end up making videos about. Getting to have some fun with Mega Bayonet in Omega Ruby was my only strong memory. It was a great time, but as soon as Sun and Moon came out, I moved on. Ironically putting it through the exact same thing that made it angry in the first place. But it isn't too late. In a rare twist, a newer Pokedex entry actually makes this monster a little less monstrous. Some say that treating it well will satisfy it, and it will once more become a stuffed toy. So maybe the reason Bayonet is said to seek out the one who threw it away wasn't truly malicious. Maybe it just needed a friend all along. And so, that was the ever-unfolding tale of Bayonet. Thank you to all of my channel members who continue to support and make these videos possible, especially the Great Gators Jackson, Justin R, Mr. Pig Puncher, Phantom Pyro, and Quago. If you would like to get a shout out here as well as access to emotes to use in comments and live streams, you can become a channel member as well today. Anyway, this has been Gatorx, and I'll catch you all later. Now you can catch a Pikachu of your very own. It flashes its cheeks and wiggles its ears. The more you play, the happier it gets. <laughs>
I had a Pikachu. <laughs> Pokemon Interactive Pikachu. You can get it now, but only at Toys R Us. That was adorable, wasn't it? Yep, now let's get going.